Hi kids! Today we will learn what is HCF and how to calculate HCF. So let's get started. First of all, HCF stands for highest common factor. Before learning what is HCF or how we can find HCF, let's learn what are factors. When we multiply two or more numbers, we get a product, and each number is called a factor of the product. Example, 4 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2 equals 40. Then 4, 5, and 2 are factors of 40. A number is said to be the factor of another, if it can divide the other number completely. Here, 4, 5, 2 can divide 40 completely. That is, no remainder will be left if we divide 40 with 4, 5, or 2. So 4, 5, and 2 are factors of 40. Let's have a look at more examples. 4 multiplied by 5 equals 20. So 4 and 5 are factors of 20 as 4 and 5 will divide 20 completely. No remainder will be left. Here we have a number. It's 18. Now let's see which numbers are factors of 18. Always remember 1 is a factor of every number because 1 can divide any number. 18 divided by 1 is 18. 16 divided by 1 is 16. 17 divided by 1 is 17. 45 divided by 1 is 45. So 1 can divide any number. So 1 is a factor of every number. And same is for the number itself. The number itself is always a factor of number. So 1 and 18 are factors of 18. Also, a number cannot have a factor which is bigger than itself. So, factors of 18 can be between the numbers 1 to 18. So we have 1 as the smallest factor and 18 as the largest factor of 18. Now let's find more factors of 18. Find numbers that multiply to make 18. 2 multiplied by 9 equals 18. So 2 and 9 are factors of 18, where 9 will be the second largest factor of 18. Now, 3 multiplied by 6 equals 18. So 3 and 6 are factors of 18. Now, can we multiply 4 with any number to get 18? You can also see by dividing 18 with 4, if it completely divided 18, then it's a factor. But no. 4 does not divide 18 completely. Now can 5 divide 18 completely? No, so 5 is also not a factor of 18. Now let's check with 6. We already have 6 in our factor list. Now 7. No, 7 cannot divide 18 completely. 8? No. 9? Yes, 9 can divide 18 completely and 9 divide 18 into 2. So, 9 is also a factor of 18. Now, one more thing to learn. No other number bigger than 9 can divide 18 completely. So, remember one more thing. Factors of a number other than 1 and the number itself cannot be bigger than the half of a number. 
So factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Now let's learn what is HCF. HCF. HCF means highest common factor. Now let's learn finding HCF with an example. We have two numbers, 6 and 8. We have to find their HCF, that is, the highest common factor. For finding the highest common factor, we will first find all the factors of 6 and 8. Let's first find factors of 6. 1 multiplied by 6 equals 6. So 1 and 6 are factors of 6. 2 multiplied by 3 equals 6. So 2 and 3 are factors of 6. No other numbers multiply to make 6. So no more factors. 1, 2, 3, 6 are the factors of 6. Now let's find the factors of 8. 1 multiplied by 8 equals 8. So 1 and 8 are factors of 8. 2 multiplied by 4 equals 8. So 2 and 4 are factors of 8. No other numbers multiply to make 8, so no more factors. Hence, 1, 2, 4, and 8 are the factors of 8. <clears throat> now find the biggest number out of the common factors of these two numbers. The numbers 1 and 2 are there in both the lists. That is, the factor list of 6 and 8. So, 1 and 2 are the common factors of 6 and 8. But we have to find the highest common factor. Common factors are 1 and 2. And the highest common factor is 2. As 2 is biggest out of the common factors. So, 2 is the highest common factor of 6 and 8. So, kids, what we did to find the HCF of 6 and 8. Then we find out the common factors of 6 and 8, and out of them we found highest common factor. Now let's take another example. We have two numbers, 15 and 30. We have to find their HCF, that is, their highest common factor. So what we have to do? First of all, find all the factors of 15 and 30. Let's first find the factors of 15. 1 multiplied by 15 equals 15. So 1 and 15 are factors of 15. 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. So 3 and 5 are factors of 15. No other numbers multiply to form 15. So, factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Now let's find factors of 30. 1 multiplied by 30 equals 30. So, 1 and 30 are factors of 30. 2 multiplied by 15 equals 30. So, 2 and 15 are factors of 30. 3 multiplied by 10 equals 30. So, 3 and 10 are factors of 30. 5 multiplied by 6 equals 30. So, 5 and 6 are factors of 30. No other numbers multiply to form 30. So, factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, 30. Now we have listed all the factors of 15 and 30. Now let's find the common factors of 15 and 30. 1, 3, 5, 15 are the common factors of 15 
and 30. And what we have to find? We have to find the highest common factor. That is, the biggest number out of these common factors. And the biggest number out of these common factor is 15. So, the highest common factor, or HCF, of 15 and 30 is 15. Let's take one more example. We have to find HCF of 23 and 12. First of all, write factors of 23 and 12. 23 has no factor other than 1 and the number itself, so it's a prime number. Prime numbers are those numbers that have only two factors, 1 and the number itself. Now let's find out the factors of 12. 1 multiplied by 12 equals 12. So 1 and 12 are the factors of 12. 2 multiplied by 6 equals 12. So 2 and 6 are factors of 12. 3 multiplied by 4 equals 12. So 3 and 4 are factors of 12. No other numbers multiply to make 12. So, no more factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 are factors of 12. Now let's find the common factors. The only common factor here is 1. So HCF is also 1. Kids, remember one thing. HCF of two prime numbers is always 1. For example, HCF of 7 and 13 will be 1. HCF of 23 and 17 will be 1. HCF of 3 and 5 will be 1. So kids, today we learned what is HCF and how to find HCF. Okay, kids, now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.